Sesta Fina, Mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker, Celus Artemis, with her deadly aim set to pierce it in the heart of a hummingbird. Pain tap pigs, all of them. I see you there. Come closer. This is your fault. You are the victim. All the mortals are made in the born workshop of fools. Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! This one killed six innocent children to satisfy her rage. They squabble. Burn with jealousy, cheat, fight and murder. They are cruel, vindictive and selfish. And let the heel of Achilles, these weaknesses will be their undoing. I have no such flaws. The rest have fallen. Only one stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus. Only the foulest, most arrogant, narrow-minded boxer son of Kronos who trapped me beneath the earth. The one and only Zeus! How I've missed you, Prometheus, my favorite cousin. You chained me to this rock and fed my liver to an eagle out of love. Ah, uh -huh. you need my help. Typhon is free. You once fought beside his allies, the Titans. Convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. I cannot see past him. Go on. Blast me. I can't! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done! Those evil, imbecilic, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone! One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables, and mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust? It's a little... extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no, not one of your stories. How long is this going to... My tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers returning from a faraway battle. Their victory ambushed by an unexpected storm. The sea tossed and turned. Waves churned to a froth. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. It's an art. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance. At dawn, the sun rose on the few remaining survivors. The lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a Wait, skirmish. Wait, don't tell me.
place like the color of unripe grapefruits. A face I can see in my mind. You know, an ooh face. Hair like uh, a waterfall on the cliffs of Santarini. Burnt out. Poof. Burning. Just burning. The color of cold lips. Eyebrows. The storm! Wake up! I have to wake up! The storm! Wake up! I have to wake up!
There, I see her clear as day. <clears throat> the lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a skirmish, a teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name, Phoenix. Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire, which would be ridiculous. Although, I should write that down. Washed up on an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. Looks like the only way off this beach is up that cliff. 